Hello friends, today we will write our very own DLL injector. First, let me give you a demonstration. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, where was I? Right, uh, the demonstration. When we start the injector, we can see a list of process IDs and texts which corresponds to the windows of those processes. We can then input the target process ID and if we hit enter, our DLL gets injected. You know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. That's a hacking group we've been reporting on that's claimed responsibility for recent attacks. For this first injector, we used the create remote threat method. It's a well known and pretty simple. Perfect for us, we want to start as simple as possible. I should warn you, create remote threat is a Windows API function and therefore it is easily detectable by any anti-cheat software. Also, it does not work for versions of Windows before Windows XP. Therefore, the very first thing we should do in our injector is check if our Windows version is at least Windows XP. We can do this with the is Windows XP or greater function after including the version helper header file. Next up, we want that list of available targets. We get that with the enum windows function. As parameter, it takes a callback function. To be perfectly honest, it is the first time I ever came across this in C++. So let me explain real quick what a callback function is. A callback function is a function passed into another function as an argument, which it then invokes inside the outer function to complete some kind of routine or action. In our case, this function must be the enum window proc callback function. To continue enumeration, the callback function must return true. To stop enumeration, it must return false. Alright, so let's define that function. If for whatever reason the function is called with no window handle, we return. If the window is not visible, we also return. Same goes if the window does not have a title. But if it does have one, that one is stored in a local variable called string. We then get the process ID with get window thread process ID and output it together with the window title. Now let's call the enum windows function from our main and test it out. Here we go, looks good so far. Now the actual injection part. Let's create a new function and call it inject DLL. As parameter it takes the process ID. Inside we define a path where the DLL is stored. This is of course not great solution, but good enough for demonstration purposes. Again a bit of error checking. Then we get a handle to the target process with open process. We gotta set some desired access flag, so let's do that like so. Some more error handling to cover the cases where we cannot gain access to the process. The create remote thread function, which we will use, needs a pointer to a function which shall be executed by the thread. That function is load library A, which will of course load our library. The load library A function itself needs the name of the library as a parameter. But that name must be stored inside the address space of our target function. So we gotta write the name, or rather the whole path, including the DLL name, into the memory of our target. This we can do with the function virtual alloc x to allocate the needed space inside the target's address space and then write that value in the created space with write process memory. Now we can finally use the create remote thread with the process handle, the pointer to the function load library A and the pointer to the DLL path variable stored inside our target. After that we can close the handle to the process again. In our main function, let's get the process ID from user input and then call our inject DLL function passing that process ID. Let's test it out one last time. We input the process ID of our target, hit enter, the DLL gets injected, good stuff. And that's already it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment about anything really, I surely will read all of them and respond to most of them. If you want to see more hacking related stuff, consider subscribing. Until next time friends, talk to you soon.